Hello, my name is Lucinda Bailey. I'm known as the Seed Lady. I come from Texas Ready, which is a seed company that features heirloom seeds that are regionally specific so that you folks can become completely food self-sufficient. We include 80 varieties in all of our kits, so it's a great way to go for the nutrition and the food safety that your family is going to be needing. Right now I'm going to be talking about how to make sure that your plants get all the nutrition that they need, and the system that we teach in survival gardening is the Mitlighter method of gardening. And you can go to our website at www.texasready.net and secure a copy of the book, or you can check with AMG and get everything that you need from them as well. All right, on page 53 of the book, it gives you a detailed recipe for the fertilizer. But certain events have happened that are making it really tough for my customers to get the proper elements to feed their plants properly. I know that you've heard about that little town in Texas called West Texas that virtually blew out of the sky and so, uh, so went our ammonium nitrate, which is a fabulous form of, of plant nutrition that is no longer easily obtainable even if you're a farmer. And I've tried. So I've got all these calls coming in and we had to have a solution. So here is the solution. We have designed a trace element packet and you would combine this trace element packet with 25 pounds of NPK, that's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, that you would obtain at your local nursery store, Lowe's, Home Depot, and such. You all know what we're talking about, the stuff that goes on your lawn. What you're going to want is you're going to want to get at least 25 pound bags, they come in 40 pound bags, sometimes even 50 pound bags, but get you a good supply. And here's what it's going to take to feed a family of four for one full year of gardening. These packets are sold for $15 plus shipping and two of these packets, so that's $30 of fertilizer trace element cost, um, plus your NPK, which would be under $100, add those together, under $100 to properly feed a garden for a family of four for one year. Now you as preppers, I as a prepper, we're saving up stuff. Stuff for security, I know y'all have that taken care of. Um, some of your canned goods, your beer, etc. So we're pretty used to stockpiling things. I see no reason why we just don't stockpile the plant nutrition for the period of time that you and I believe that things could be chaotic and we won't be making trips to Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot. In my case, I'm saving between five and ten years and nobody's going to jump the fence and steal your minerals or your rocks. Too heavy, they won't know what to do with them. But you're going to know what to do with them in just a few minutes. Okay, so here's the deal. When you are growing things from seed, which you will have to do, the, you can water the soil until the seeds sprout up, but all the nutrition is provided in the little seed, that'll be pretty much depleted by the time that particular seedling is bursting from the earth. So you are going to need to properly feed that seedling. How are you going to do it? You're going to do it in a solution. And here's, his, here's what it's going to be. It's going to be one ounce of um, 25 pounds of the NPK. And you're going to want to get this in the configuration of 16% nitrogen, 16% phosphorus, 16% potassium. It's called NPK 161616 16 in that case. That is your target. But sometimes Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever, don't even carry that. They might only have a 13, 13, 13. Get it. They might have a 17, 17, 17. Get it. And if you have the option of getting both, then combine them together so you're going to get something close to that range of 16, 16, 16. Okay. So anything between 13, 13, 13 or 17, 17, 17 is acceptable. You've already purchased your NPK in the 40 pound bags, the 25 pound bags, or the 50 pound bags. Make sure while you're at that uh, box store that you get two five gallon paint buckets with strong lids, plastic. Okay, so you take your plastic and you dump 25 pounds of the NPK in the bucket. Then what you're going to do is get four pounds of magnesium sulfate, 
also called Epsom salts. You can buy that very economically at Sam's, Costco, Walmart sometimes has specials. All, all the pharmacies will carry it. So you get your Epsom salts, you get your MPK, and then you put one 10 ounce packet of the trace elements. There are between 16 and 17, depending on what agronomist you talk to, essential elements that plants require. And you are not gonna be able to find the sulfur, you're not gonna be able to find the zinc, the manganese, the boron, and so forth, and the quantities that you need. They're minuscule. Boron, for example, is needed in two parts per million. Well, that's a tiny little trace element, if you ask me. But at four parts per million, it's toxic to the plant. So this is a tightly configured nutritional recipe. It's all figured out for you with this 10 ounces of trace elements. Again, you're gonna take 25 pounds of the NPK, four pounds of the Epsom salts. You're gonna throw in this 10 ounces of the trace elements. Stir it up just a little, just like you're making brownies. You don't wanna really whip it up a whole bunch. Smaller particles will tend to fall to the bottom and we want this perfectly distributed throughout the entire five gallon paint bucket. So that's the good news. That is going to become your weekly feed. When you've got this seed tray so beautifully put together, your little seedlings are beginning to sprout, now just providing them water, H2O, is not going to be enough. They are going to need some extra nutrition. So what are you going to do? You're going to take one ounce of that weekly feed from your five gallon bucket and you're going to put it in three gallons of water and wait about 10 minutes as it dissolves, stir it a little bit, and that is what you're going to water all of your seedlings with. Many seedlings that you would purchase from Lowe's, Home Depot, Bonnie's, uh, nurseries and so forth are, are completely hungry for certain elements that they're not getting and you've got what it takes with this solution. It's got all the essential trace elements plus the water and you're going to feed your seedlings with the solution that you make um, until you put them in the garden. Okay, so that's one use of the fertilization. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to create uh, garden beds. You can do this directly in the ground or in what we call a raised bed. It makes no difference. The principles are the same. And you're going to want to either put them in 18 inch widths or 4 foot wide widths. And so you are going to want to do what we call like prenatal vitamins for your garden. It's the same principle. You want that soil that you are eventually going to plant your garden in to be rich with the essential nutrition that is going to cause things to germinate well, develop root systems, and put on the growth that they're going to need so that they can fruit properly. So our pre-plant is as follows. We're going to use five pounds of lime, calcium, agricultural dolomite is another word for it, and so forth. Gypsum is another word for it. We're going to want four ounces of magnesium sulfate. Again, that is Epsom salts. We're going to want one ounce of uh, boron. Now you can purchase a uh, 20 mule team borax box in the laundry aisle of Kroger's or, or what for about five bucks. All right, you don't only, only are going to need a very little of that. So, um, now what does one ounce of these dry weights look like? One ounce equals two tablespoons, level tablespoons, from um, you know, your cake mixing um, kitchen utensils. So just get that, get a, a one that you're going to reserve only for the garden, and put it with your garden tools so that you've got access to it. So you're going to make this pre-plant. Again, it's five pounds of the calcium, four ounces, which is eight tablespoons of the magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt, and one ounce of boron, Again, that's borax, and you can use two tablespoons of that. And again, that same principle of a real light stir to mix it all together. That is your pre-plant. Now, when you start a completely new bed, you want the ground, the base ground, to have um, some of the pre-plant. And you're gonna use one ounce per linear foot if your bed is 18 inches wide. So if the bed is 20 feet long, you would need 20 ounces. So it's pretty easy to figure out. If you have a four foot wide bed, you're gonna have what we call a dead man zone down the center, so you're not even gonna be worried about putting fertilizer there because the plants aren't gonna grow in that area. They're not gonna be watered there. 
but that's just for a matter of convenience to have a four foot wide situation. So it's virtually like having two 18 inch beds side by side with a dead man zone down the center. So instead of it being one ounce, it's going to be two ounces of pre-plant on the base soil. Okay? Um, so you've got that taken care of. Now you add your soil. And in my case, I grow in sand and sawdust. You can grow in pine needles with this system. You can grow in uh, crushed um, rock. You can grow in just about any medium. You don't have to go and spend $20 a linear foot on designer soil that's going to be depleted at the end of the season anyway. There are two styles of gardening. You either fix the dirt, that can take up to seven years, in some cases 10 years. And yes, I can fix the dirt, but we don't have seven years, men and women. So our style of growing, the Mitlider style of growing, is feeding the plant. And that's why we're talking about fertilizer and plant nutrition here. Okay, so you have got the base taken care of with your pre-plant. You've now put the um, growing material into your bed or you're using the dirt of uh, uh, where you're located. Uh, so on the surface, you're going to do the pre-plant one more time. So again, it's, it's one ounce per linear foot on the 18-inch wide bed. It would be two ounces if you had the four-foot wide bed. Remember to keep that eight-inch de dead zone down the center. Okay, so that takes care of the pre-plant, the prenatal that you are going to supply uh, your plants with. Now, if you're from a real dry area with less than 20 inches of rainfall, you're going to purchase Azure Calcium Lime Source. You're going to purchase gypsum. If you're in other parts of the country, 20 or more inches of rain, which is most of us, then you're going to use agricultural dolomite, straight lime, or straight calcium. This can usually be purchased in 10-pound bags, 25-pound bags, 50-pound bags, and it's relatively cheap. I'm finding it about 50 to 75 cents a pound. So you can get that at, at any good nursery store. All right, so that takes care of our pre-plant. Now, we, when we start a new bed, we do it at the bottom and we do it at the top, and that takes care of it. But what if you were to finish with your broccoli and then want to stick in corn? Well, as you're doing a new crop, you're going to stir up that dirt, breaking up any of the compaction and so forth. And anytime you start a new crop in that established bed, you're going to go ahead and do the pre-plant on the surface. Five pounds of calcium, four ounces of Epsom salts, one ounce of boron. That is what the pre-plant under the Mitlater system is all about. So we've talked about the solution for our seedlings. We've talked about getting our beds ready for a new crop with our pre-plant. But plants need more nutrition than what we're talking about here. They're going to need weekly feed. And we've already said you've purchased a second uh, five-gallon bucket, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to get that NPK, that 25 pounds of NPK at the ratio, our target ratio of 16, 16, 16. You've got the four pounds of Epsom salts in it, and you've put this 10-ounce packet of the trace elements there. Okay, certain plants need more nutrition than others because their growing and development period is longer. Lettuce, if you're doing leaf lettuce, you're only going to need to do maybe two applications, three at the most, before you can start eating on that lettuce, that leaf lettuce. However, if you're doing a romaine or a head lettuce, that lettuce takes longer to develop. It obviously has more going on, more compaction. Um, so you're going to have to give it maybe three applications, four applications of food. And um, page 237 of this book has a lovely chart, which uh, is in PDF form. And this particular chart has a column that tells you exactly how many applications of this weekly feed that you're going to need to do. All right, well, how much weekly feed do you put down on a linear foot? We already said that it was one ounce in an 18-inch bed of the pre-plant. It's half of that for the weekly feed. So. If you have a 20-foot bed, that would be 10 ounces of weekly feed, a half ounce per linear foot, and you're just going to sprinkle it in, the, in uh, um, the watering zone because, remember, plants do not receive any nutrition except that it's in a water-soluble format. So you're going to put it right where um, the watering system is going to get that dripped into uh, the dirt. Now, I use the lighter system, which in the is a uh, pressure um, system of watering. That's for another um, 
another um, video. Um, but this particular um, system is very good. You can put the dry measurement along the surface and within a week it should have all been absorbed down into the soil and then that's why it's called a weekly feed. It takes about a week to get it into, uh, to get all of it into uh, the, the roots. Every day it's almost like a multivitamin however. It's getting all the essential 16 or 17 trace elements and uh, essential elements that it needs. So those are the, it's fertilization under the Mitlider system is as simple as one, two, three. First, we have the special solution that we use for the seedlings. The second is we use the pre-plant when we establish a new bed or we go ahead and start a new crop. The third way that we use plant nutrition is to do um, the weekly feed and we have a nice chart that gives us very, very specific amounts, uh, amount of weeks that we're going to be uh, needing to fertilize certain crops. Um, and this chart is so exact and so wonderful that it even distinguishes the difference between, say, a bush bean and a pole bean. A bush tomato plant, which is a determinant tomato plant, or an Italian-style indeterminate tomato plant. It's so exact. So your questions about gardening and fertilization and plant nutrition can simply be um, handled under the Mitlider method. You will have excellent crops no matter what the climate, no matter what your soil type. Thank you very much for um, struggling through with me on this topic, very critical topic, of how to get highly nutritive, nutrient-dense products, food products, from your garden. Wishing you the best of gardening. If you have any questions, you may call me direct Monday through Thursday, 832-493-1357. Whether you're my customer or not, we want you, as an American patriot, to grow and thrive not merely survive. Website is www.texasready.net. Looking forward to helping all the patriots in America grow 2,000 plus food out of their own backyard. 1 20th of an acre is all that's needed, and we can do far more than 2,000 pounds. Someday we'll talk about that. This is Lucinda Bailey signing off. Thank you.